I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me, but welcome back to my channel. My COVID test was negative, so she's out doing stuff. It just keeps jumping when I start to walk around. Hopefully the video that you will have seen before this is the explanation of, hey, move, hey. <laughs> um, I'm in a new apartment, I got a new job, all that fun stuff. And now is Thanksgiving. So I don't know if you know this, but Vlogmas is coming up. And so far, those are the only videos that have ever been posted on my channel. And I would like to do a version of Vlogmas this year as well. Um, I'm trying to right now figure out how that will fully work. Today is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. I think it's the 22nd, I believe. Um, I'm three days in. I think to not feeling 100%. I feel better than I did on Monday, but I still don't feel great. I need to get stuff so that I can spend the next few days in my apartment, because right now I don't have enough stuff to be able to do that. So I am going to go grocery shopping and grab the stuff that I want to make for dinner tomorrow. Some other stuff because I bought a Christmas tree. It's in the back here, if you can see this box. So I bought a Christmas tree and I want to put it up the day after Thanksgiving is my goal. If you do not know, I do spend Thanksgiving alone. It's my tradition since I moved away. Mostly because the school that I was at gave us like three and a half days off. And I was like, this is not enough time to go all the way to New York and like feel like I got my money's worth. So I would usually just wait until Christmas. Now the job that I do have, we get like a full week off basically. I'm really hoping that it is not too busy. It's 11 a.m. on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I think yesterday would have been a better day to venture out into the world, but obviously I could not. So here we are. So first stop is going to be Home Goods. Again, I'm looking for very general Christmas decorations. I think I want to do maybe white stuff. I don't know yet, um, but either white or silver. Yeah, it's uh, let's do this. lobby bust but um then went to a craft store success i got big balls that are like black charcoal grayish and then tiny little green ones and then some white snowflakes so i feel like that will look nice i don't know how i'll feel about the green ones just yet but worse comes to worse i can always return them afterwards um but i think i want to go for like a black green white sort of idea who knew Christmas tree skirts were so expensive because I didn't. Um, those are ridiculous. Well, I'm going to head to Walmart, the grocery store, to try and pick up all of the stuff that I want for dinner. I think I'm going to do pork chops, potatoes, and carrots are some of my favorites. So I think that's what I'm going to do for that. My dessert, I'm going to try to make a cherry cobbler, cherry crumble. I haven't decided which one. I think I would like the cobbler better. Just like, I don't know. I feel like cobbler is more like cakey rather than like hard top pie. -y. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I'm going to run to Walmart and pick that Turn stuff right up. I also am looking for Christmas tree skirt and maybe a Christmas topper because I didn't get a star or anything, which I don't think is necessary for decorating your tree, but if I can find one, I do want one. Sort of a success, sort of a failure, but we're going to try again, and then I might just grab lunch while I'm out. I haven't really been eating the last few days. I've eaten like one meal a day. Um, I'm just not hungry right now. I'm hoping that I'm hungry for tomorrow, but I might just grab some lunch or something while I'm out. I'm on the side of town where like Trader Joe's and that stuff is, so like my brain is like, just go there. I also might stop by a Five Below because I think they have Christmas decoration stuff for obviously $5 or less, which is my price range. But I think it's like 50 and then like 50 little, little boys and then some bigger boys, I don't know, I would assume nine, maybe 18 of those. Big snowflakes, small snowflakes for like $30. So right now my tree with decorations is gonna cost me like 60 bucks, which I feel is, is not bad. I got my tree from Target um, for 
it was on sale. It was originally $55. It's like a six and a half foot tree and I got it for 30. And I don't, like I know people care about what their trees look like and like they're pretending to be, but um, I don't. It's time to get a tree. Oh, we're gonna stop in at Walmart and then we'll go from there depending on how I feel. We have made it home. Put away my groceries. I'm gonna eat lunch. I got Chipotle. Um, watch a little TV and I'll check back in. Hi. Yesterday I didn't do anything. Once I got home, really, I sort of just sat here and hung out um, in hopes that I would feel better today so I'd be able to do more things today, which I do feel better today. I already took a shower, um, dried my hair, threw it in a low bun, start to clean my apartment. It is a pigsty mostly because I've been sick. So I'm gonna get my dishes out of my dishwasher. They're clean, fill it, um, probably run that. And then I need to do some laundry because I have laundry all over the place and get that put away as well. Um, and I wanna try to do that all before I start cooking for Thanksgiving. It's one o'clock, which is way later than normally we would have these. But I'm gonna take out some pie crusts, let them come up to room temperature, and then make the cinnamon rolls. That is like just what we do as a family um, on Thanksgiving. And then I'm gonna sit and read a little bit because she got laundry, dishes are done, cooks so much better. So yeah, when I start making the cinnamon rolls, I'll let you know. Sorry, my laundry is running over there, but I am making the pie crust cinnamon rolls, which we make every year for basically every holiday morning. 1.30, so it's not the morning, but delicious. This is just a normal pie crust um, that I let come to sort of room temp. I am using Country Crock plant-based butter, but you can use whatever butter you want, and you're not gonna be gentle. If you use a dairy-free butter that is hard, you're gonna wanna come, let it come to room temp so that it's easy to use. Um, I put some flour down just so it doesn't stick to my table, and you're just gonna put a bunch of butter. Once that's done, you're gonna grab your just normal sugar. Once you have sugar spread around, then you're gonna do ground cinnamon. And you're gonna need a cup of water. So we're just going to roll this back up. I'm gonna do this side because I know there's some breakage. And you wanna do it fairly tight. And then once it's fully rolled, you're gonna take water, dip your fingers in it, and you're gonna try to close the ends. And after that, you're gonna take a knife, and you're gonna cut them to like however big that is. And I'm just gonna put it on parchment paper on a baking sheet. These are gonna go in the oven preset for 350 for like 30-ish minutes until they're golden brown. Now I'm gonna clean up and I will show you what they look like when they're all done. Again, sorry for the noise, laundry is happening, but these are done. So these are what they sort of look like. Um, and they're delicious and pillowy and cinnamony. And they're basically the easiest cinnamon rolls to ever do in the whole entire world. And now I'm prepping my cherry cobbler, which is gonna be the main dessert for tonight. Um, so in the oven, I have a fourth cup of butter melting in the pan with it. And then in here, I have a cup of flour, a third cup of sugar, and then a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna add a cup of milk to that and then mix it up. prep it, but I'm using cherry pie filling and not the real stuff that I have to make. And now we just wait for the butter to be done. It doesn't say to mix it, so I'm not going to. And then I'm just supposed to spoon this shit in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, 
And then I'm putting it back in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until brown on top. So I'll let you know. I am going to keep apologizing for my laundry, but don't it look delicious? It's bubbling, it smells so good, and I cannot wait until after dinner. You guys saw me uh, cut up the potatoes. Those are gonna cook for a long time probably and then I have some carrots that are gonna steam over here as well and I'm gonna start getting the pork chops ready to put into the air fryer sorry Dolly Parton was doing the halftime show at the football game um, so <laughs> I had to watch that but you saw that I um, seasoned my pork chops a little bit with salt pepper garlic powder um, potatoes are on carrots are on I'm gonna let those come to a boil before I put my uh, pork chops into the air fryer. 390 for 15 minutes, I don't know. I like my things burnt, so sorry if you don't like that, but um, I'll show you the finished product. Dinner is served, we got our pork chop, our carrots, our potatoes, dessert back there, some rolls. We have the candles lit for the mood. Just, you know, living it. Currently right now, football is on the TV, sooner. Rather than later, it'll be planes, trains, and automobiles. Living my best life. Fairy cobbler. Delicious, even though it looks like a pile of slop. I wish I had some whipped cream. But besides that, so freaking good. It is now 9.52, so almost 10 o'clock, and I'm going to go to bed. I had a great Thanksgiving. Vibes are immaculate in my apartment right now. I'm gonna blow out my candles, go to bed wake up tomorrow and decorate for Christmas. I think this is gonna be my December 1st video. Um, and then December 2nd will be the day that I decorate for Christmas. Um, and we'll go from there. Again, I don't know how much of Vlogmas I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try my best. I proved it once that I could go most of the holiday season. But yeah, let's do it. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.